Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And thank you for joining me for another edition of Blooming Fridays. Um, all right. So um, let's just get right down to it. So I'm going to be doing some blooming on some tiles here, uh, glazed tiles. That I'm going to turn into coasters. Um, if you want to know everything about the TLP pigments and how I mix my paints and my TLPs and all of that and the ingredients and all that, check out video number 504. I will link it up here at the top. It is a full tutorial on how to get started doing the TLPs or doing bloom. Sorry. All right. So today I'm going to be using my color to go by Sherwin Williams and it is just white. So that is going to be my base slash call it pillow paint, call it whatever you want. All right. So that is going to be that. My cell activator is going to be Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. And again, that is mixed with just Payne's Gray by Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. Not to be confused with regular Floetrol. It is Australian Floetrol. You can buy all this stuff from the Fluid Art Co. website. That link is in the description below. I want to show you guys some new things I got from Fluid Art Co. the other day. So it is Boom Gel. So I've always wanted to try it. And so I've got three colors right now. So I'm going to be, this is called um, pearlescent teal, which I'm not using today, but I wanted to show you how pretty the color is. Today, I'm going to be using marine blue. Look how gorgeous that is. And this one is called native violet purple. And the good thing about this is I was told you could just Put it right on your bloom while you're blooming. You don't have to mix it with anything or do anything with it. So I'm going to give it a go. Let's see what happens. In regards to my TLP pigments, I am using TLP's Harvest Gold. I shall be using Harvest Gold. And I'm going to be using a color I haven't used, which is this pretty color here. And it's called Parakeet. So I'm using TLP's Parakeet. So those are the colors I am going to use. And um, yeah, that is it. So let's get started. I'm gonna try and keep these short and sweet, obviously. Um, and yeah, let's uh, see what happens. So I'm going to use my ladle here. Someone's trying to get a hold of me. All right, got, oh, I think I saw a goober. I did. I saw a goober. So let me see if I can scoop her out. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I am going to just use my finger to spread this on the tile like so. All right. I'm so excited. You guys are watching this on Friday. And next week, I am leaving on a jet plane, not a jet plane, but I'm leaving on a plane. And I am heading to Charlotte, North Carolina to meet up with Tammy for our Fluid Art Escape event. Our workshop is coming up. You still have time to buy tickets. Let's see, how does this stuff work? Oh, this stuff is thick. Hold on, maybe it's just the beginner goop. Oh, yeah. All right, that was weird. Let's try that again. Yeah, this stuff is, ooh, I don't know about that. That is thick. All right, well, we'll see what happens. I did give it a good stir or a good shake, so maybe I need to give it a better shake. That is thick. I don't know how this is going to work out. If it doesn't work out, I'm going to scrape it. All right. Um, as Oops, as I was saying... Um, yeah, Tammy Anderson and I, our trip is next week. If you want more information and want to sign up, don't forget, there's still $50 off the ticket sale. So you can save $50 off your ticket if you want to join us. Um, email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. Yeah, this one's better. Although I still feel like it's thick, but let's see what happens. I don't know. I don't know why I keep wiping the tape because I'm gonna do more of it. But let's see how this works out. If not, I'll just find corresponding TLP piggy colors for that. All right, 
my cell activator is down. I'm going to pop the air bubble that's right there. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's blow this out. All right, there's my peacock colors here, but I'm not sure how that's working out. That was a little hard to blow. These are pretty thick, but look at the cells that are forming. I kind of like it. I'm just gonna give it a minute, so I might speed you guys up for a few seconds because you gotta give this time to progress in the center. So give it a few minutes. All right, so this blue here, marine blue, is gorgeous. Look at that. Super pretty, right? All right, so let's give her a spin. A light one, though, because um, there's a lot of pretty stuff happening around the edges, and I just really don't want to lose that. So I'm just going to tap the edge here just to get the edge of the tile wet. And then I'm going to lightly spin it. All right. That was like the lightest spin I have ever done. And I shall spin it the other way. And I think I'm going to be done. Let's see. Where's my knife? Oh, here it is. Let's see what we've got here. I, I'm not sure I'm liking the dominant blue, although I love blue so much. I'm not sure I'm happy with how blue it is. What happened here? Something happened there. I've got a stripe. A streak. Did I do something when I wasn't paying attention? I'm going to try another tile and see how that works out. And I think I might change the order. And, and we'll see. I think I might change the order. Where's my scraper? Hiding under my paper towel. That's so pretty though. All right, let's just... Uh, okay, next tile. Let's put some paint on her. I feel like I'm making pancakes with batter. All right. Uh, let's spread this out. All right, let's do a different order. I think I'm going to put um, the green on top. I think I'm going to change it up like that. Okay, let's do that. So let's start with the native violet. Yeah, this one's really gunky. I don't know. Seems so curdly. All right, let's do harvest gold. All right, I think this one is going to be way better, which means I'm probably going to scrape that one and try again. Yeah, I think this one might work out a bit better. And that is it. 
spinning is done. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I'm going to definitely be scraping. I love these peacock looking colors. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at the shimmer. I can see the shimmer. You can't really see the shimmer, but I can definitely see the shimmer. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. I like it way better than the first trun, the first one, not the first trun. So we shall clean this up. Scrape her off and start again. All right, I'll probably speed you guys up through parts of this. Obviously I'm sticking with the same color order. All right, and there we have the next tile. This one's pretty. I really like this one a lot. That one's really, really good. Ooh, that one turned out really well. All right, moving along. <clears throat> two down, two to go. So, like, I mean, you could sit and, you know, pop out, like, you know, 10 coasters or 12 coasters, you know, pretty quickly if you're doing all like the same color or whatnot, or just have some color palettes already decided and have them put aside here. And that way you're not fidgeting with, oh, what colors am I doing? Like come up with a color palette like I did and then get going, right? Do four and then have a different color palette on the table as well and do the next set or whatever. But yeah, you could really sit here and do a ton of different coasters all in one shot. All right, next tile is done. Super happy. Uh, these uh, peacock colors are looking super purdy. All right, one more to go. This is so pretty. Wish I could let it dry. All right, so there you have it. All four tiles are done, and that took me about, I don't know, 22 minutes. So um, I'm going to clean up 
and get my workstation all nice and clean and clean up my mat and clean everything up. So as I mentioned, um, you can buy all the TLP pigments, the boom gel, this mat, all that stuff from Fluid Art Co's website. That link is in the description below. Um, and if you want to, you know, remember to uh, want to know how I mix all my paints, my TLPs or with Amsterdam paints, check out video number 504. I'm going to clean this all up and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up to see how beautiful those tiles are. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I've turned off my studio lights and let's just see these beauties up close and hopefully you can see the shimmer in them without it getting blurry. It's so hard to photograph or videotape these compared to what you see with the naked eye, but there's definitely a lot of shimmer happening. These are gonna be so pretty when they're dry and they shall get a top coat of crystal resin. It's blurry a little bit because I think I'm a little too close. Yeah. And the last one. I'm really loving these peacock colors. I'd like to know what you guys think about these coasters in the comments below. Um, and do you still enjoy Blooming Fridays? I think the second one is my favorite. Yeah, because you can get like a mix of all the colors in that one, I guess. But yeah, I think the second one is my favorite. Which one's your favorite? One, two, three and four let me know in the comments below let me know in the comments below also what color combinations you'd like to see you know oranges reds golds that kind of thing yellows i know i do a lot of purple and blue so let me know in the comments below until next time my friends thank you so much for watching have a good day have a good night and i'll see you guys in the next video take care bye